friends, myself Jyoti Ayas, tutor of Saraswati Tuition, Dawanya. Welcome to my class, Maths with Jyoti Ma. Today it's a class for seventh standard CBSE NCERT and also for the Karnataka State Syllabus students. Here in the, the first chapter integers. In that we are studying the properties. That is in that the multiplication of integers. How we have to multiply the integers? Multiplication of here we are telling you that how we have to multiply the two integers and how we have to put the sign for the product of those integers. Here multiplication of a positive integer and positive integer. When two positive integers are there, how you have to multiply and put the sign? When both are positive integers, generally let A is A and B are considered as two positive integers, then it can be written as a positive integer that is equal to plus A into plus A is equal to when you multiply any two positive integers, its product is always a positive. Always a positive and a into b. Like this we have to do. When positive or two positive, when two integers are positive, we have to multiply those integers. We have to put the positive sign. For example, another one. When positive integer is multiplied by a negative integer, we will get the negative integer. Is that it? Let's consider a positive integer. Let A be any positive integer and A B be any negative integer. When a positive integer and a negative integer are multiplied, their product will be negative and the product is written that is A into B. I will give one example. Any positive integer let us take plus 5 into any negative integer that is minus 10. If you multiply a positive integer and a negative integer their product is always a negative integer and 5 and 10 of multiply that is equals to minus 50 understood here you have to concentrate on the signs the symbols which we are used for one is positive and another one is negative then their product is always negative and next when a negative in the same way when a negative integer and a positive integer or the product of a negative integer and a positive integer is let us consider this is negative integer. In the generally first we can write minus a minus a into plus b is equal to minus of a into b. Understood? Generally we can write. We can take some example like this. Minus 100 into plus 5. One is negative, another one is positive. Therefore, we have to put the negative symbol and write the product of those integers. That is equals to minus of 500. Isn't it? 100 into 5 is 500. When a negative integer is multiplied by another negative integer, for example, if A consider generally we can say minus A is any negative integer and minus B is another negative integer. When these are multiplied, the answer, the product should be a positive integer, positive into A into B. That is equals to plus of A into B. Understood? But let us take two example two negative integers. Those are minus two into minus five. That is equals to minus into minus. When two negative integers are multiplied, the product 
one is always positive and these two integers are multiplied. That is equals to 5 to the 10. Understood? Okay, let us we can remember this simply having given hint. How you can remember easily this
into minus 1 into minus 1. How many times it is? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into minus 1. Here, minus 1 into minus 1 plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus. Okay, what we are observing in every step? Anybody? Can you guess? No. I will tell you. Here we are doing the steps by all by multiplying minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus. Like that we are doing here. But when one is easy method is there. Here how many negative integers are there? Two negative integers. Two negative integers. Two negative integers. For that, the product is the symbol of the product is one plus. Okay. Here consider how many negative integers are there? Three. One, two, three. For here, three negative integers. The product is, the symbol of the product is minus. You should concentrate. Here how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. For 4 negative integer, the product is plus. Concentrate on the symbols. Plus. And here, for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 5 negative integers, the product, in the product, the symbol is negative. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this, how many integers are there? For 6, the negative integers, the product is plus. What you are observed here? So we observe that when the number of negative integers are 2, 4 and 6, the product is, the symbol of the product is plus, plus, plus. 2, 4 and 6 are even number of integers. Understood? When negative integers are even, the product is always positive. Understood? Here, when you observe here, 3, 5 and 3, 5 and you can take 7. In case of 3, the number of inti negative integers are 3 means in the case of how many numbers? 3 numbers means 3 is all number of negative integers. When we mark the product or negative integers is equals to always be negative. Consider here also. How many number of digits? Here 5. In this the number of negative integers are odd and their product will always be minus. You should keep it in mind that when the uh, 3 or more negative integers are given you have to Count the number of negative integers. When the negative integers are even in the product, put the plus. When the number of negative integers are odd, put the negative symbol in the product. Understood? I hope you understand. Yes, let us move on to the properties of the integers. Properties of multiplication of the integers. Properties. Properties of integers. Okay. That is closure property under multiplication. First one, the closure property. Closure. Closure property.
closure property. To prove this, to verify this, let let us consider that two integers a and b. The product of the two integers a and b is equal to c. When we multiply two integers and their product is also a integer. If a and b are two integers and the product c is also a in also an integer. Understood? When two integers are multiplied, their product is also belongs to the set of integer. The C is also an integer. Let us consider two examples. Let A be any integer that is 3 into another integer 6 and the product of these two integers is 6 3 is 18 that is minus 18. This 18 is also an integer. Understood? I will give one more example. If 100 is there into minus 10, that is equals to minus 1000. The product of these two integers is also an integer. Okay? Therefore, the multiplication of the integers are closed under the uh, closure property holds good for the multiplication of the integers. Next one is commutative property. Commutative property. Here also consider that A and B are two integers. Let A and B are two integers. When we multiply the two integers like this in any order. Here A into B is one order and in the reverse order B into A. The reverse order both are same. The product of two integers. If you multiply the two integers in any order, their product is same. Let's take example. Here, this is 5 into minus 4. A is 5 and B is minus 4. This is LHS is equals to 5 minus 4 that is equals to minus 20. The same, here we are taking the second integer, first and first integer second that is equals to Minus 4 into 5 is equals to minus 20. This is equals to RHS. Understood? LHS is equals to RHS. You can take one more example. Uh, easily you can take 100 into 5. First one. Um, example 1. This is example 2. Okay, we are very far, isn't it? Minus 20 is equal to minus 20. In the example 2, that is first one is 100 into minus 2 is equal to minus 200. The letters will become minus 200. If you reverse this, minus 2 into 100 is equal to minus 200. Okay, understood? The multiplication of the commutative property of the multiplication of the integer holds good. Commutative property of, of the multiplication holds good for the integers. Let us move on to next property that is associative property. Associative property. Associative property. For this, consider three integers. Let A, B, and C are the integers. If 
इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई ए इंटू बी इंटू सी ए इंटू बी इंटू सी इन एनी ऑर्डर हेयर वी आर टेकिंग द फर्स्ट टू इंटीजर्स एंड हेयर वी आर टेकिंग द इन द थ्री डिजिट वी आर टेकिंग द नेक्स्ट टू इंटीजर्स एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस इज एग्जाम्पल वन कंसिडर थ्री इंटीजर्स वट इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री इंटू टू इंटू फाइव So these are three integers. Minus three into two. Here we are doing the first two multiplying first two into two integers. That is equals to three into two six minus six into five. That is equals to minus thirty. In this LHS we got minus thirty. Here in the LHS part, the value of a is minus three two and five. Isn't it minus three into two into five? Here we are multiplying the second two integers. That is two into five. That is equals to minus three. Are keeping here two fives of ten. If you multiply these two, you will get minus three. That is equals to RHS. What we came to know here? LHS is equals to RHS. This for common, this for associative property of multiplication holds good for the integers. We can take another example to understand this. Here we are taking the simple integers to understand easily the concept. You can take a bigger number like hundred, two hundred, five hundred, or something something you can do. But here we are. I am taking the very simple integers. to understand the concept easily if you understand it easily then you can do any number of problems we can take another example that is equals to uh, 5 into 10 into 20 okay here a into b into c okay 10 fives are 50 into 20 that is equals to 1000 In the LHS part, we got thousand, and here in the RHS part, we are multiplying the next two digits. That is, keeping five as it is, multiplying this two hundred, what we will get the seven thousand only. Isn't it here? This is the RHS. Here also we can to know that LHS is equals to RHS. Understood. Here the commutative, here the associative property of the integers verified. Next, distributive property of the multiplication over addition. Next one is distributive property of the multiplication. That is three into five plus four is nine, and three is 
between this slug and and the largest part uh, 3 into 4 a into b is 3 into 4 plus 3 into 5 ok what we will get that is equals to 3 4 is 1 plus 5 3 is how much 50 if you add you will get 57 understood here LHS is equals to RHS Understood? LHS is equal to RHS. The distributive property is verified over addition. In the same way, we can do it for distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. We can do it for subtraction over subtraction. Here a into b minus c, a into b minus a into c. Let three integers. Example for that a is minus 2 into 5 minus 3. Okay. So for this, here is the RHS part. Minus 2 into 5 minus is here and then minus 2 into 3 into minus 2 into 3 is positive. Okay. Now verify this. 5 to the 10 minus 10 minus into one. No, no, not like this. Sorry. We are doing like this. Minus 2 into 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 to the minus 4. In the LHS we got minus 4. To solve for this. 5 to the minus 10. We are putting minus outside. 3 to the minus 6. That is equals to minus 10. Minus into minus plus 6 is the minus 10 plus 6 is minus 4. Here LHS is equals to RHS. Minus 4 is minus 4. Therefore LHS is equals to RHS. LHS is equals to RHS. Distributive property of multiplication uh, over subtraction is verified for the 